So I've been getting ready to put this board on eBay, but one thing that was bothering me is that it's still showing this stupid AccuVault logo on the BIOS. Now, companies can change that using software from Intel. So I just did a Google search and looked for the integrator assistant for my motherboard. And this thing lets you change some BIOS settings inside uh, Windows. And it lets you do a couple other things for um, asset management, like if you've got a whole bunch of systems and you need to ID them all, that sort of stuff. But one of the, the main features of this is that you can actually update your BIOS. And one of the things that lets you do in it is change, a bio, change the image file inside it. So you basically just download the regular BIOS update, uh, in this case, the, the most current one for my board and you simply select it and it will load it in and then you just pick an image file uh, this one I was just trying out so I don't actually uh, load up a proper image file on this one but basically you just select the file there is actually a default image that's included along with this so I just chose the 800 by 600 image and loaded it up in a, a later one after testing this out it will then reboot your system and flash the BIOS with this modified one which has a different image because even clearing the CMOS battery and stuff does not clear this. You cannot get rid of the image. The actual bitmap or JPEG is stored in the um, actual BIOS file itself. So what the software is doing is it's attaching a newer image to it. So it takes a little while and it flashes the firmware. Uh, and on this board, I actually had a lot of problems updating the firmware because it wouldn't go right to the new version. It was giving me weird errors. The trick was to update to the slightly newer BIOS, and then it let me update all the way to the newest one because it was like 10 versions behind or something crazy. But I was figuring it was because it was a custom board, but no, nah, I just needed to update slowly. So once the BIOS update's done, it reboots, and you have a proper looking Intel motherboard. This way you can sell it on eBay and it doesn't look like you pulled it off some server.